Hey, good evening, everybody. I am Chuck Rogers, licensed professional counselor and licensed marriage and family therapist. And I'm Keith Dunn. And well, part of me is a network engineer and the other parts are, I don't know, I've got a list. It's getting about that long now. You are a wonderful entrepreneur and together we are <laughs> tabletop coffee, right? Yeah, where we are bold and never, ever bitter. And tonight we continue our salute to marriage killing. And if you really want to kill that marriage and get rid mm. of it, Make sure and call your partner names. Stay tuned. We'll talk about it. It may be fun at the time, but yeah, it turns out bad. It's not long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we often talk about the Gottmans, and people probably are sick to death of hearing me talking about John and Julia, but these people dedicated their <laughs> lives to researching marriage, you know. What right. Does, what, does, what really works for marriage and what doesn't work. It's not just people's opinions, but what really does work. And one of the things that they found was that you know, there were basically four big things that cause more damage mm -hmm. to the relationship than other people. Do you remember right. any of them? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Fill me in. <laughs> uh, defensiveness. Yes. Stonewalling. Oh, yes. Criticism. Mm. And contempt. Okay. Yes. Now I remember them. There you go. <laughs> They're called the four horsemen. Yeah, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Because yeah. if you hear the hoofbeats of these, the end is soon to come. Yeah, and we've learned, I've learned about all that. It's been good. So you'll have to check out our videos because we cover all of these. Yeah, the dance videos. One of my therapists was mm -hmm. telling us today that uh, she makes sure to send out these, our dance videos to people really? so that they can improve their relationships. Yeah, And okay. I try to send them out to people before they come to do the intensive therapy with me so that they're prepared in advance. They learn a lot. Okay. And then also we can refer during our intensive day back to those videos. Yeah, so in the description, we always put those five videos, they're always listed mm -hmm, in the are. description. Yeah. But I'll also put the D of the dance up here so you know where to start, and then you can watch the rest of them. Yeah, it really is very, yeah, very good set. Fantastic. First five videos we ever did. I know. And one different. of those was this whole piece about contempt, which is the mm -hmm. most corrosive, right. uh, the most dangerous that causes more divorce than anything else. Yeah. And it causes medical illness in the other person uh, can within like four to six years. It's so powerful when I have contempt for my partner. Right. And one of the things I've really been keen on lately and helping to point out to my clients is when they're using a certain flavor of contempt that I, I'm just mm -hmm. calling name calling. Yeah. And, you know, we all know it's wrong to call people names. Sure. But sometimes in a relationship... You don't really specifically call the other person a name. Mm -hmm. You'll speak negatively about them, but okay. it basically is calling a name. And a couple of years ago, this was this is very fresh in my mind. I was thinking about it lately. A couple of years ago, I had this couple come in, and there was this tit for tat, banter for banter, you know, discussion oh, yeah. that happens, and I try to prevent. And this guy got so frustrated, so angry right. with his wife as she was talking about her version, her, her reality, her part of the story. Mm -hmm. And he says, that's just stupid. Oh, well, and yeah. And I was hoping to teach him to complain without blame by making a request. Mm -hmm. And I said, can you say that differently? Right. And his reply was, no, because it is stupid. <laughs> there is no other way to say it. Yeah. And I said, <laughs> he said, because well, what she's saying, what she's thinking right now is stupid. That's not true. Mm. And I said, I'm not saying what she's saying is accurate. Right. I'm saying, can you say it in a different way about what she's saying to help her maybe look at it through a different lens? And he said, no, because what she's saying is stupid. It's not realistic. There was no way for him to get outside of that mindset and see another way mm -hmm. of actually saying that. No, there, there really wasn't. Okay. And I said, because when you continue to say that that's stupid, mm -hmm. the message he's sending her is what? Yeah, you're stupid. You're stupid. Yeah, it's not yeah. really that stupid. That's right. It's you're stupid. You're stupid for thinking that way. Yeah. Right. And he, he really never did get it. He started arguing sure. with me about it. And I mm. said, that really, that kind of talk is actually abusive talk. Sure. You, you can't say that about your spouse. Right. And later on, as she was talking, um, she mm. says, well, gosh, this is just in our house. It's such craziness. Mm. And so I said oh, to her, yeah. 
can you say that differently? And she says, yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. She says, because that's name calling too. And I said, it it really is. So she was able to rephrase it in a different way and say something on the line of, this is just so hurtful Uh when you say this. Yeah, using a feeling word to fill that in instead of using some type of name calling. Yeah. And I think we often do that. We call the other person names and usually... We don't mean to do it, right? but we are doing it, and it's full of contempt, and it hurts the relationship. You know, it's what you just said, I think, is so true, because I, I try not to ever do it, but every once in a while, you know, I will find myself slip in something and realize, oh, that really could have been said so much better. Mm-hmm. How can I say that? with a feeling word so I can get my point across, but it's not saying something that is hurtful or directed towards the other person. Mm-hmm. And I think there are so many times that we speak with contempt, but we've gotten so used to doing that in our lives. It's very natural. You see it on TV, mm-hmm. you see it in the media. It's, it's just a continual mm-hmm. process. And I think we somehow pick all of that up and reevaluating that and being able to catch that can really change your relationship. Yeah, and sometimes I don't think we're able to catch it. It takes the other person it pointing it out. That's right. And the correct way to point it out is by making a request. request. Yes. Yeah. Hey, can you say that differently? And we've got videos on that too. Yeah. Hey, can you say that differently? We sure do. Yeah, yeah I'll put that up here. The make re- making a request video Good. is fantastic. Yeah, so if you want to kill that marriage, make sure that you go out and call the other person names, right? Yeah, just do it. Yeah, <laughs> kill it. Okay. Hey, if you liked our content, we would really appreciate it. Keith would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. That would be meaningful for us. Yeah, just go down and click that little red button and then ding that bell to the side of it so you're notified of upcoming episodes. Make sure to like it. Yep, share it with your friends. Thanks, everyone. Until next time.